Oh, that Ooh. looks really good. Mm -hmm. I just have to add a couple more things and it'll be ready. I'm Christina and I currently work as a federal contractor. I'm James and I also work for the federal government. They are currently renting a place in Laurel, Maryland, 30 minutes outside Baltimore, okay. but want to get into a single family home like Christina's mom has. The next trip to the winery, we might have to stop here. First. I could show you how to do it for yourself. Or you can do it for me. I could. Right now, it's just me and Christina. Uh, we want to have kids in the future. That's one of the whole points that we're trying to get a house at the moment. Purchasing a home, owning a home is actually very important to me because nobody in my family has ever owned a house. Uh, like, all my siblings rent. My mom has always rented. And I just feel like it's something, it's an accomplishment that, you know, I can show my nieces and nephews and everybody else. Like, you can actually build your own type of wealth. Yeah, we've been searching for a long time, and I, I'm just at the end of this search. We need to find something. I think you were just being picky. No, I, look, I'm a first time home buyer. There's certain things I just need in a house. I'm thinking more of a colonial type of house because, you know, that's the house I grew up in, and like, I have really fond memories. I prefer more of the row home federal style houses. It's just what I've always seen growing up as a child, and I'm like, mm -hmm. I want to have one of those one day. I grew up in Baltimore. I love historic charm. I love some type of character. It's kind of what Baltimore is famous for, like those kind of houses. Have you and considered leaving your area? Well, I would like to move closer towards Washington, D.C. You know, I'm going into office more, so I'm really tired of this commute. There's quite a few places in Baltimore that is right next to the train station. Wow, but that is far. I don't think Baltimore is quite right for y'all. Baltimore is so far for me to come visit. Do you know how long my commute would be? I mean, you can get places that are a little closer. All my friends are there. I have, you know, so it's just, I would just love to be closer to Baltimore. Well, I want a historic looking house on the outside and inside is kind of modern industrial. It's like a brick wall and you have the metal beams everywhere. I prefer an all white kitchen, a big white kitchen. I just like the way it looks. And, you know, I do all the cooking. I would like to be in a spot where I feel comfortable, you know? For our house, I don't want to have carpet. Carpet holds dust. It's just cleaner and easier to clean if we don't have carpet. When you wake up in the morning, you don't want to put your feet on the cold floor. I'll get you, you a something? nice little rug. No, it's not the same. I can't relax on a hardwood floor. I would like to spend between 450 to 500. <laughs> no. <laughs> thousand. We, we have to. I honestly think we should be under four. It'll be like a good stepping stone for us. Like the houses I've looked at. No way. Baltimore. There's no way we're and, flying and anything that. No, there's that. definitely some good federal style houses in Baltimore that you can get for about 350. I need it to be completely done, turnkey, stuff like that. That's because you're spoiled. Exactly. We don't need completely done and turnkey. We can do something. This looks really far. We're all the way in Baltimore. That is completely opposite of what I said. Like, I want it to be near DC. This is so far from my job. But you have to admit, this is a cute neighborhood. Yeah, the neighborhood is really cool. It seems like there's a lot of bars and restaurants. Today, Christina and James are headed to a lower priced historic row home for him, but with updates for her. There's Lisa. Hey, guys. Hey, Lisa. You can tell there's a lot of history. You said De definitely history. It was um, built in 1900. Wow, so that. Over that is years crazy. Old. It's got the charm and the character of yeah. these these brick bro homes that I know that you were looking for. Wow, like this. this is really updated, Lisa. It is. I wasn't expecting it. Right. I mean, you'll notice it still has the character and the charm with the yes. exposed brick. I love so, yeah. the brick. If we had kids, we wouldn't be able to comfortably fit a lot of people in the space. It's typical in one of these city what? row homes, they're going to be narrow. I love these cabinets. You know I love the white kitchen, Lisa. Yes, I know you did. I really like the kitchen, but where am I going to watch you cook? You don't need to watch <laughs> You know cook. I like to, you know, sip on a glass of wine right. while watching you cook? That's why I married you for. <laughs> mm. You do have area here for your okay. table for your okay. seating. At least this, we can fit a dining room set in here. Yeah, yeah we can fit a nice I mean, it's a little small, but I mean, it would do. It would do, yeah. Oh, wow, I really like the outside yeah, space. Yeah, it's a private little spot. See, you can... and I like it, there's no grass. Yes, you don't, have, don't have any have maintenance outside, front or back. It still seems a little small. Well, it is fine, a little, though. but we there, there's, more, there's more space you'll see. Okay. We're entertaining. Let's move on. All right. 
So you have the first see, guest room I or like spare this. room. It's a decent size. For a spare bedroom, it wouldn't be too bad. And here is your first bathroom. Oh, okay. oh this is tiny. It's a, it's a good thing that... for other bathrooms. And then here's okay. another spare bedroom. I love the wall. I love it. Yep. Brought that More up exposed yeah. brick. Yes. Is that original to the house? Yes. Wow. Wow. I was not oh, expecting this. This is a good size. This is a good size. Yes. It's really mm. hard for me to complain with everything done so well. It is. It's really this updated really... very nicely. You know, the one thing I don't like, is it only the primary bedroom on this floor? Yes. You have that whole... means if we have kids, they'd be on a whole different level. But game. it's just That's true. the one level below. Here's your bathroom. Ooh. Oh, wow. Here, I'll let you go in. I like this. Pretty I wasn't big, expecting actually. this at all. I love the bathroom. The only thing I don't like, though, is there's not two sinks. I hate sharing a sink with you. Your hair gets everywhere. I mean, I could use, honestly, I could use another bathroom. You would, you would have to, because it's just not enough room. Oh, oh, oh my like gosh. This. Wow, this is amazing, Lisa. Imagine at night, all the city lights right. light up. You can see the ships and everything. Yeah. Wow, this is amazing. I wanted to always come back here. You know, I grew up here. Everything, I mean, who doesn't like being here? Everybody who's from this area wants to be here, you know? So the fact that I'm even looking at a house that I could afford here is just like kind of crazy. It looks like we're pulling up the neighborhood now. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, it looks like we're finally seeing what I want, a single family home. But it'll mean a slightly longer commute for her. And James might go along with this one, since it gets him 15 minutes closer to Baltimore. I love the traditional aspect of it. It's definitely my style. Because it has all this grass. I don't know about this already. I mean, the price isn't bad. It's under my budget. OK, let's see. It's a pretty nice looking house. I love that it's a single family home. Oh, wow. It's a split. It's a split level. Okay. So you do walk in on this level with a formal living room. I really love the bay window. Very traditional aspect. I really like that about the house. It is. Wow, I really like this kitchen. It's definitely my style. It's like a modern farmhouse. Yeah. I don't know about this. I am not a fan of the backsplash. I don't like the counters and the cabinets are not white, Lisa. What are those? They yeah. are light. They're not bright white. And it's, it's functional. Don't get me wrong. The thing, it is functional. It's just, it's somebody else's style. And then you have the first bedroom here. Oh, it's like nursery. It's yep, so already cute. set up for a little girl. It's a little small, but I mean, not bad I mean, for it's a children's a young uh, child's yeah. room. OK, this room's a little bigger. This room's a little, I could see this as an office for you, James. Yeah, an office slash guest room. So then we step into the primary bedroom. OK. Oh, wow, this is a really good size. It is. It's a little dungeon-y, but. It is a little, yeah, with no sunshine. Yeah. yeah. This is a really nice bathroom. I like the bathroom. I really like the updates, but yeah, it's really it's, small. Yeah. It is. It's nice finishes. I hate that it's only one seat. I know. I know you like yeah. the double vanity. For both of us to share, this would actually be kind of tight. Yeah. Yeah. Getting ready in the morning with me and her. <laughs> I don't know about right. that. Right. Right. Yeah. So James, I think you'll like this hangout okay, entertainment yeah. space. Oh wow, like this, this is really nice. There's even a wine fridge down here. Oh, that's cool. It seems like it's, you know, it's made for me. I don't know about that. I love the carpet. I'm not a fan of the carpet, great but... Great for relaxation, though. You know, this would be a perfect area. I can put my projector up, watch some football, yeah. play the game. And then you have and a full bathroom, bathroom down here. Oh, yeah. Not oh, wow. Bad. This is done well, too. So this would be a pretty good office, actually. Yeah. Today, they're seeing a model townhome that is for sale in Laurel, where they currently live. So this one is a compromise, since both their commutes will stay the same. It's still equal distance from both our jobs. I wouldn't be super close to my work, though. I mean, that's true, but it doesn't, I wouldn't have to commute real far, too. It starts around 4.59, but depending- What do you mean starts at 4.59? I mean, depending what's in the house, it can go for a bit higher. Hey, Lisa. Hey, how are you? We're going to have to have a conversation, Lisa. 
She told me these houses start at 459. That is the base price. And something's telling me it's Christina and this is not 459. This particular model is a little higher. It has some upgrades in it already. It sounds like it has everything that we're looking it for. It has the finishes Christina's looking for. Have an okay. open mind. I like the townhouse, don't get me wrong. I like townhouse, that's my thing, but there's a yard right here. Does our HOA even cover that? It covers um, outside maintenance, your water and sewer, so you won't have a water bill. You will have to cut the front lawn. See? See it's not, it's, it's not, not much. that big. I do like the carpet. Relaxation areas, carpet, soft feet. You have a half bath here. Okay, I like that. That's really good for guests. Then you have your two car garage in here. Oh, okay. It's pretty big. You can fit both our cars yeah. in Yeah. Wow, this is huge. Uh, oh, okay. There I like you go. The kitchen. You're the cook. I think the kitchen I grew up with had to have been like five by five box. <laughs> see, this the is price doesn't crazy. look so bad now. I don't see any backsplash though. Well, that's a personal touch. So that's something that you can add. I'm fine. It's just that I say I'm fine with projects at 350, 380. At 495, it should be done. But you want to make it your own. Right. If and they had done the backsplash, it may not have been your choice. Exactly. I guess so. Okay. Oh, this is really good outdoor space. I like it. Absolutely. I can dig it. Yeah, like you can this. be relaxing out here in the evening. Yeah, this is very low maintenance. Wow, that's really cool. They have a playground, you know, for when it we is. start a family. Exactly. It's right on the corner. You don't have to go far. That's actually <laughs> a pretty nice feature. We have a dining living room area, nice big okay. and open. So here's one of the two extra bedrooms. Okay, well, this is a little small. Yeah, it is. This is a good space for a nursery or even an office space. Okay. What is that? And same with this one. It might be a little bit larger. Yeah, yeah this I think it is bigger. actually. This is the main suite. This main would be your suite. primary bedroom. Cool. Has a walk-in closet. Window. Here's your bathroom here. Okay. It has a double sinks, which is part oh, of the kitchen this. and bath upgrade. Yeah, I really love the double sinks. So you're gonna go ahead and do charcuterie? Yeah. I am going to get the dip together. We chose the new construction, construction. townhouse. It was a really good mix between both of our styles. Yeah. It was fully updated and it's equal distance from our job. So our commute is about the same. Great. Right. Really? You guys all got here at the same time. Yeah. So she go, oh, you <laughs> a little plant Z yeah. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> the house was listed at $4.95 and we paid $4.95. I was not trying to pay $4.95, but. We had to. Yeah. To get our dream home. To get what we wanted, we had to. I attempted to make a charcuterie board. Uh-oh. I knew she had to be struggling that she wasn't critiquing on me making this. I don't critique. I help. The kitchen, it's like a dream kitchen, I guess she would say. I'm going to make a lot of things in that kitchen. Now watch. Yeah, she'll probably <laughs> just watch. We have so much with. space. I'm not really sure what to do with it all. It's scary, but it's so exciting. Yeah, uh, I'm excited for like just having people over the holidays, the cookouts and everything. Decorating like, for Christmas. Like so many fun. memories that can be made in this home. 